Well, welcome inside the Rogers Center from the outfield of where the Toronto Blue Jays play. And right now it is quiet, but earlier today, 43,000 fans had it absolutely rocking, hoping to watch the Blue Jays avoid a sweep at home against the San Diego Padres. If you missed that matinee action, here's a look at what happened. Chris Bassett is on the mound today, taking on a Padres team that has won the first two games of this series. Nine to one Chris on Bassett night. with the start for the Tune Jays, and it gets a little hairy early on. Watch this moment. Padres Tatis Jr. hits it into the outfield on the fourth pitch. Going, going. Look at this. Luplo and Kiermaier almost, almost knock each other out. Could have been a disaster, be. but they and get the out. To the bottom of the second, still scoreless. Luplo, who just got recalled from AAA to the team last night at bat, two on the The middle and through, a base hit. Jays managed to score, Andrew taking the one at the lead. Now to the bottom of the fourth, Alejandro Kirk at bat with third. Merrifield on first. This is a Kirk specialty. Kirk with the base hit. Moments hit. later, Luke Lowe would get walked, and we have a bases loaded scenario. George Springer with the DH for the game at the plate. And he pops it up. Bogarts is there, and the Blue Jays threaten, but will leave the bases loaded. It's no bueno. Jays blowing another bases loaded opportunity. Season. Next few innings, a bit of a snooze fest yeah, until the seventh, when the home run derby game. king of 2023, Vladdy at the plate. That's a pretty well to the opposite field, and it's gone! Vladdy absolutely crushes it for a solo To the bottom of the eighth, Alejandro Kirk brings Before a little swagger to the plate. Here's a ball drilled, and I mean drilled. And how good must that feel for Alejandro Kirk? Now Jordan Romano would finish out the game for the Jays, making his first appearance since the All-Star game. Jays would shut up the Padres for nothing and avoid the sweep. Your uniform is clear evidence of you being the base stealing machine that you are. There was that moment where you went back and Tay back on second. It looked like you grimaced for a moment. First of all, what's going through your mind when you're stealing the base? And are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Just a little jam. Um, but it's really no big deal. Loosened up pretty good, so I'm good. Um, just trying to get a key on a guy and got steal second. I thought I got a pretty good jump at third. Sanchez would have been third, so. Uh, felt good about it, right situation to go, good jump. They just made a good play, so. Uh, always trying to stay aggressive, always trying to steal in the right times, and um, look forward to doing it more. Now, looking forward, you guys just finished a series at home against the Padres, immediately playing Seattle tomorrow, and then right after that, LA. Do you even look ahead that far, or do you have to compartmentalize going game by game? Uh, yeah, I mean, you gotta look ahead to. <laughs> uh, when you're packing, you know, see what the weather's going to be like, going to L.A., you know, maybe pack a bathing suit. But um, as far as the baseball part goes, you just kind of take it day by day. Uh, we're getting into late July, August, kind of the dog days of, this, of the season. So um, this is kind of when the grind really starts. It really starts getting um, to where you need to focus on one day at a time, one, one at bat at a time, because if you start looking at Looking ahead, it can, uh, it can wear you out. So, yeah, one one game at a time right now. Are you going to even try to attempt to pack your golf clubs? They're always packed. <laughs> the Jays get the W, and they have a quick turnaround. They're playing tomorrow in Seattle. Now for soccer fans, you already know what time it is. It's FIFA Women's World Cup time. Team Canada, their first match is tonight at 10.30 versus Nigeria.